Hello, Warriors of Light. Today I'm going to address the issue people are experiencing with later versions of Windows 10 and 11. The most common issue that seems to be popping up is the SSPI failing in the lobby server issue. This alone is a compatibility issue with newer versions of Windows 10 and 11. So let's start by fixing this issue. The first thing you want to do is open your server data whether it's Ion Cannon, Lizard Dizzles, or my own. Open up Meteor.sln in Visual Studio. Once it's open, right click on Common Class Library. Click Properties. And change the target framework to .NET Framework to version 4.7.2. If you don't have this version, then click on Install Other Framework and install 4.7.2. It will automatically show up in Visual Studio after the install. Next, do the same for the Lobby, Map, and World server. Change the .NET Framework to version 4.7.2. After you've done that, click on the Solution Meteor, then right click in the empty space, click Manage Nugget Packages, and you'll see a box labeled MySQL.data. Click on that and check Mark Project. And select version 8.0.31 and install. Once the SQL data is updated to version 8.0.31, click on Build and Build Solution if you're setting it up for the first time. If you already have everything installed, click Rebuild Solution. There's one more thing we have to change. So open up your server data, click on Lobby Server, and open up data.cs, either in Visual Studio or in Notepad++. I already have it open, so let's scroll down, and what you want to look for is a line of code that says command.repair and command2.repair. Place two forward slashes to comment them out, and do this for every command.repair line in the file. To make it easier for you, you will find these on line 108, 118, 238, 259, 280, 294, 343, and finally 377. Click save and that should fix the SSPI issue. There's one more issue I want to go over just in case this happens to you. If you're either on mine or Lizard Dizzle's build and you start the Limsa storyline. If you're running into an issue where you can't talk to Rothenthal, the way I was able to get this fixed for a friend I met on Discord is by going into your map server, bin, debug, scripts, quest, and default, and open up the default C Lua script. Scroll down to the last line and enter the line exactly as you see on your screen and then click save. Okay, so now moving on to the server commands. These are specifically the ones that I had to use during the Limsa and Gridania story. Now, before we get started, I have to say that the Gridania story is not fully implemented. As of right now, it's just the two main quests out of the three that are on Lizard Dizzle's build. I apologize for that, the last quest has been worked on, it just hasn't been uploaded to Bitbucket. To be clear, the MSQ you saw me do was only on Lizard Dizzle's build, so right now it's a walking sim all the way through. There's no combat or any monsters. And Lizard Dizzle's build is what I've been building off of with the Hildebrand repository. There are two areas you can find the commands. The Project Meteor Wiki and in your map server, bin, debug, scripts, commands, and GM folder. The 
The first command is the warp command, and within the wiki you can find all the areas you can warp to. Just keep in mind that some areas could crash the game because they haven't been implemented. This command is important for when you're moving quest to quest as you can level up your character to the required quest level. The next command is the add quest and sequence command. The sequence command works in junction with the quest command. To find the sequences, it's based on which storyline you're in and what quest. And the quest Lua files can be found in the scripts folder. Okay, so now I'm going to demonstrate the add quest command within the game. We're going to start with Souls Gone Wild. In the Lua script, you will see the quest ID 11006. In the game, we will type in chat, exclamation mark, add quest, 11,006, and it will automatically start Souls Gone Wild from sequence zero. If we scroll down in the Lua script, we will find the sequence numbers. Not every script will look like this, but you can still find the sequence number within the actual code itself. First, let's talk to Mione. So let's open the Lua file and we will skip to sequence 72. In order to skip to a sequence, down in the chat, type exclamation quest 11006 sequence 72. And our journal will automatically update. And now we have to go to the botanist guild. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you in the next video Warriors of Light.